Hi, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to draft a stellar proposal. Then I'll show you how a priority matrix project supports this process. First, let's talk about the parts of a project proposal. A good project proposal effectively conveys the logic behind the project, the intended results of the project, and the supporting evidence of the project that is being considered. Now the first step is to write your introduction, and I have a few notes to help you out. One, make it brief. Your boss does not want to read a 10-page proposal. Second, think of the introduction as an elevator pitch. It should be easy to absorb. And finally, since the proposal is an argument for your project as a logical choice, use the if-then format. Step two, clarify your goal. Remember that the goal should align with the company's goal. Also, it's best to stick to one goal. And step three, outline your specifications. You're gonna to need to specify budget, timeline, and more. Step four, plot your milestones. Milestones are strategic indications that the project is successful thus far. Remember, milestones are metrics, not tasks. They can also be thought of as sub-goals or fractions of the larger goal. Now I'm going to show you how the four quadrant project proposal template carries you through these four steps. Now, in Priority Matrix, the project proposal template is designed to help you compile all you need to successfully create a project proposal. As you can see in Quadrant 1, you're prompted to write the introduction with a reminder to use the if-then statement, set your goals. Here you're asked, how does this align with your company goal? Something that you should definitely include. And set your milestones. And you're prompted with the question, what would prove that a project is successful at a given moment so far? Then in quadrant two, you will write down your deadlines. So you will write your tasks or phases and you will specify the deadlines for that. It doesn't really matter how many of these you have. The great thing is once you add these deadlines, you can see them in calendar format and even in the Gantt chart format. Now, the benefit of tracking these deadlines in this quadrant is that in the event that the project is proposed, these deadlines can easily be translated into actionable tasks. You can move them to a different project, assign them to someone, or even sub-projects. So you can actually make this deadline into a sub-project that you will then invite a team to. Now, in quadrant three, you will itemize the costs that this project will take. So the cost, the total, and then in the information, you will give the background, the validation of this cost. And finally, if necessary, you will add addendums in quadrant four. If you really want to add more details because you think it would help the argument for this project, but it would actually prevent your project proposal from remaining brief, it is much better to add an addendum. Now, ideally, you would be able to share this proposal through the four quadrant format and priority matrix. However, if it's absolutely necessary that you present it in a formal formatted way, you can actually very easily take this information that you will have filled in here and move it into a format that you can then edit and create as that formal proposal. All you have to do is go up here. You can opt to email the entire project and then what will happen is you will get the formatted text right here, which you can then copy and you will have the uh, information, not just description if then, you'll have the introduction, you'll have the goals, you'll have the milestones, you will have deadlines, easily formatted, budget, and then any additional notes. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful.